how would you, Blani, describe yesterday with one Polish word? If you could pick one Polish word to describe yesterday, what would you say it was? Mm. Ten hitch to wygląda jakby go Radventure z dna oceanu wyłowił. <śmiech> w końcu nie został wykorzystany. Ten też nie został wykorzystany. Teraz to wszystko będzie trzeba poddawać, albo nie wiem co z tym zrobić. Dzisiaj jest trzeci dzień z rzędu w totalnych rozjazdach, co nam się ostatnio nieczęsto zdarza, ale jeśli wszystko pójdzie z planem tym razem, to zobaczycie kogoś, kto już był raz na ekranie naszego vloga. Także to powinien być fajny akcent. A warto również nadmienić, że dostarczam dzisiaj, w tej chwili, to jest pierwszy punkt programu, jeden z największych wydruków, jakie kiedykolwiek zrobiłem dla klienta. It's almost 60 inches long. It's 59 inches. And it's a uh, print of, a, of the uh, Conowingo Dam. Conowingo Dam is close to where we live. It's about half an hour from here. No i teraz właśnie jestem w drodze, żeby się spotkać z gościem, który nazywa się Andy. E, I on ten wydruk ode mnie odbierze i dostarczy go do głównej kwatery firmy, która go sobie zamówiła. Ta kwatera znajduje się w Virginii, w stanie Virginia. Normalnie to byśmy pojechali, bo my to, jak wiecie, zresztą dobrze uwielbiamy sobie jeździć, ale wiąże się to ze znaczącymi kosztami. Po pierwsze, to jest 5 godzin jazdy w jedną stronę, a zatem nie obejdzie się bez doksyterki na cały dzień. A my kosztów w tej chwili lubimy unikać, jak tylko się da. How's it going? back in our compact supercar the truck has been returned and yesterday was a very how would you Blani, describe yesterday with one polish word if you could pick one polish word to describe yesterday what would you say it was mm. <laughs> so now we're going to pennsylvania again uh am i supposed to go here oh my it looks like i am I yes why did we never gone this road before to this place because we never started from not our house oh. today we started from the rental car return place hello oh my goodness yeah, she doesn't <laughs> need a leash hi baby look at her she's like oh hey guys hi mm. 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 oh gross She was just laying down. Mm. I think both have a headache. Mm. <laughs> so funny. Just saving it Hi. for later. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Look at Corey her. showed me your your guys' uh, oh, so of cool. version of coming to meet oh. Luna. Oh. Uh -huh. On your YouTube channel, uh -huh. it was awesome. <laughs> I watched it this morning. We figured we'd do. I was little... like, wow, they already got a thousand views. I'm like, we need to get up to a thousand yeah years. well we've been working on this for five years well, so well, I can't, I that's actually myself, I'm like they've been doing this a long time that's actually low is it for I mean you know in a YouTube world if you told someone you've been Copy. you've been yeah working on your channel for five years and you get a thousand views they'll laugh at you right right so yeah that's low well I was impressed how's living with a camel <laughs> it's pretty awesome 
She's uh, very sweet, very friendly. Uh, everyone loves her. Animals, mm. neighbors, family, friends. But there's right? got to be some issues. It can't be all perfect. Ah, uh, she pees a lot. <laughs> Does she sleep in your bed yet? No, no, she would tinkle too much. Did you hear the pee? Can't have that. Yeah. I heard the pee part, but I don't want to connect like it. that with bedroom. No, she doesn't discriminate where she tinkles, so unfortunately we would have a problem there. So where does she sleep? Uh, she sleeps with the female alpacas and she crouches right at her little hay trough and buries her head in the hay. It's very cute. I have to ask the second opinion. How's living with a camel? Oh, so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I, I'm actually the one who gets the bottle feeder every morning, usually, because Corey's getting the kids ready for school. So Luna and I have a, have a moment every morning at 8, 8 a.m. <laughs> Unless we have a guest. Uh, if we have a guest in our cottage house, then they get to do the bottle feeding, which everyone has loved, Luna. Wow, uh, that already happened? Yes, we've had several guests stay already, uh, and everyone's loving Luna, and it's been it's been amazing. There's a camel in Pennsylvania, just walking around and sort of minding her own business and not running away, just wanting to be around people. The gate is open, right there, and she's just hanging around, full confidence, amazing. What are you thinking right now? What's going on through this pretty head? I to get this like mm. wide angle picture of her mm. face. Let's see. Mm. Oh, no, no. Did you? Kind of. What's this alpaca's name? That's Silver Arrow. This is Silver Arrow. Big boy. That does remind me of our airstream. He's very friendly. Hello, Silver Arrow. I'm the ambassador of the farm. How are you, Mr. Ambassador oh. of the farm? I'm like such a teacher, and I'm like, wait, why does she say she's tired? There's a plane. Oh, two planes. Oh my god. This place is very active in the sky there's a uh, photo session happening here today and we're 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 not doing the photo session Corey is the uh farm owner and blonnie is here to show her a few tricks with the camera Make me look like some dangerous warrior, not like a Polish potato. Well, you know what, David? I am a Polish potato. Thank no, you. That's what I was going to say. Look at me. 